Hennessy And like your boy from Compton said You know this dick ain't free I got girls that I should've made Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? Ghetto Penguin Gaming here And today, we will be looking at Some of the top stories in the NBA And the Super Bowl Um, this is the only thing I want to cover In the NFL part of this Um, it's kind of small rant Or, um, it's kind of going through the headlines um, I do got 2K gameplay in the background. Don't pay too much attention to that. But um, starting off, I kind of want to get right into this. We have the NBA um, Thunder vs. Warriors this Saturday. Um, my favorite kind of uh, story coming up just because I am a Thunder fan. Still recovering from the KD departure um, earlier this summer. Um, it'll be interesting because they have played uh, twice this season, both times in Golden State. So this is the first time that KD will have to play the Thunder back in his old home team, whatever. Um, obviously, a lot of drama has built up to this point with uh, um, kind of Russell turning the cold shoulder towards KD, um, not really speaking to him, kind of just going his own path to um, superstardom. Um, almost a averaging a triple-double um, right now, I do believe, if not a triple double been pretty close um kd is also having a great year i'm not gonna i mean i can't i can't deny it he's having a great year probably having the best year or best um putting up the best stats probably on the whole golden state where roster believe it or not um better than curry um clay thompson draymond green so besides that it's gonna i i this might be the only game that the thunder will beat the warriors in this season if they do end up playing each other maybe if the thunder are an eighth seed and the warriors are a first seed which is very possible in the next upcoming playoffs um keep in mind that that might not happen i'm just i'm just kind of that's my really standard for the thunder right now this season is the eighth seed or the seventh seed um if they get anything above that i will be surprised and that will actually help them make it to the second round um, the only way to get to the second round though is that they gotta be at least a sixth seed. They gotta be a sixth or a fifth seed. There's no way that they're gonna get past the th uh, Golden State Warriors or the Spurs in a seven game series. But besides that, we also have the um, Russell Westbrook and Zaza confrontation that happened last game. Russell saying after the la the game he will get his ass back. Who knows what he's got in store for this next coming up in game. Um, next, we have Jabari Parker, um, young Buck star, tearing his ACL out for at least 12 months. So, um, you probably will respect or expect a return somewhere in the middle of February of 2018. Um, very heartbreaking for Bucks fans. Obviously, just getting Chris Milton back, the great uh, shooter for his uh, one of their only good shooters on that team. Um, Jabari, obviously not as uh, Important as maybe uh, Chris Milton or Giannis, but um, obviously a great piece to that young team um, Obviously this doesn't affect them too much because they're not gonna make a huge playoff run this year They're not that good of a team, but it still hurts them because he's already had um, Injury problems in the past so any kind of injury especially in ACL which is a huge injury in um, the NFL and the NBA really sucks for the for their franchise. Um, I feel bad for the kid um, just getting back and healthy, and I think he's actually having um, somewhat of a decent year. Obviously, having to take his back seat to Giannis. Um, besides that, yeah, he's having he's having a pretty good year. So that kind of sucks for the kid. He's got a 12 month recovery. Um, I can expect probably next fall he'll probably start you know getting back into that shape, and then um, hopefully next February he actually can make a good return and stay healthy for once. Hopefully, he does not become the next Derrick Rose, but. Um, now, most interesting story, I think, is the Knicks. They have so many problems. They are the hot mess of the NBA. Um, starting with the Carmelo drama. Is he staying? Is he going? What do the Knicks want to do with Carmelo? Um, recent interviews, any kind of uh, reports that have been made about Carmelo is that he does actually want to stay in um, New York Obviously, if they want to pursue more of a rebuild pathway, the Knicks got to probably get rid of them. That's, I mean, you got you got to have to build around Chris Stops. But if the Knicks do want to stay loyal to Carmelo, and Carmelo wants to stay loyal to the Knicks for the next couple seasons, well, until he retires, kind of like the Kobe situation, 
then that also is a great possibility. Also, the Phil Jackson, should they get rid of Phil Jackson or Carmelo, um, Spike Lee making the statement that you'd help uh, him le or help him pack. Um, kind of kind of disrespectful, probably from one of the greatest coaches in uh, NBA history. But um, uh, obviously, fans have kind of that uh, hate love relationship towards Carmelo, obviously because um, he hasn't had the best of seasons in the past couple seasons. But he does want to stay, and he does want to stay loyal. So it's kind of interesting. But overall, the Knicks are kind of just a mess in general. They got Derrick Rose um, and Joe Kim Noah, which they picked up in. Um, I believe your free agency or trade. Um, I don't remember. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I am pretty sure it was a trade. Yeah, it was a trade deal. Um, nothing's really just happening. They, they just kind of have... What I would think that they need to do is pretty much just... Need, they need to get a clean slate. They need. To, they can't be going after these these older players that don't have... They just don't have that bright of a future. Like, Joe Kim Noah, he's going to bring a little bit now... But they need to think about their future more, like uh, like the Boston Celtics kind of did. They have like that Isaiah Thomas, um, Avery Bradley, all those young players that are building up. That's kind of what the Knicks have to do. They have to kind of build off um, Kristaps and um, say that that's going to be our main piece. But don't they don't want to end up like the Pelicans either, where they just can't find any good pieces to go around them. They have a good, probably one of the greatest young players in the league right now in Kristaps. They need to have a clean slate. Stop bringing in garbage that won't do anything. Not saying that Joe Kim Noah or Derrick Rose are garbage because they are not. They are just older players. Um, not really old players, but they're they're just not the young players that I think the Knicks still need. They still need. I think they that they think that just because they have Chris Stops, the young player, that they can just keep going after older, more veteran players. I don't think that's true at all. Um, I think that they need to worry about their future more than right now because they're not going to win a ring. Let's be honest. In the East, they're not going to win a win ring, a, w a ring right now. Excuse me. Um, they ought to be looking for the next three or four years when LeBron starts to actually age. Like I know it's kind of crazy to think that he's still not out of his prime, but in the next three or four years, obviously the Cavs. I don't. I don't believe in three or four years that the Cavs will still be the superpower that they are today. Um, Celtics will obviously be a big threat, but. They need to get draft picks, and they need to get maybe a young player um, in free agency or through trading. Maybe possibly trading Derrick Rose and Joe Kim Noah away again um, next season or whatever happens. Um, but yeah, this, they just have they have a big mess there. But um, moving on to the NFL, we have the Super Bowl um, earlier this week. Um, Patriots coming back from history. Um, me personally, I did want the. Patriots to win and I have one simple reason for it and well actually I got two simple reasons for it one is that I hate people who hate on Tom Brady and the Patriots just because they are good now I defend the Patriots I'm not a Patriots fan in any means I'm a Packer fan I don't like the Patriots but I do res you have to respect their franchise they will probably go down. This then that's another. That's the other reason that I, that I wanted them to win is because now them the question of are they the greatest dynasty? Is Tom Brady the greatest quarterback? Is Bill Belichick the greatest coach of all time? I'm pretty sure that that all got answered on Sunday. You can you can basically say right now. I, I mean you can make a lot of arguments as well, but I I'm, I'm pretty sure that in a lot of people's minds you you can't really disagree with the this is the best dynasty. This is the best quarterback that we've ever seen, and this is the greatest coach in the NFL that we've ever seen. Um, obviously, the Atlanta Falcons kind of a heartbreaking story as well. They had a great start in the game. Um, Matt Ryan finally getting in our chance at a Super Bowl, and he couldn't uh, couldn't get it done. Um, they had that really great young defense. So, um, but if you're a Falcon fan, I wouldn't feel too down. You still got you know a lot of young players. You can still have. I mean, Julio and Matt Ryan will be back next season. I'm sure just as great as they were this season. Hopefully, I can't see anything because I mean, you look at Cam Newton too. That could happen. Um, but Matt Ryan is more experienced, obviously. You know he's going to be more consistent than that, so I wouldn't worry about that either. Um, but who knows? Maybe get to a third one. Um, but yeah, I I don't I don't see how you question Tom Brady being the best quarterback, Bill Belichick being the best core, uh, best coach, and the current Patriots roster or uh, kind of team in the past fifteen years being the greatest dynasty. You kind of have to just. You kind of you kind of just have to give it to them because they they are, um, but anyway that's gonna wrap it up guys. If you like this little rant that I did, um, and the gameplay I had in the background, uh, leave a like, um, comment any more suggestions or any more topics you want me to cover, 
Anyway, peace.